Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I'm going to prepare a video on creating the ESS job with parameter for the BI report. In our last video, I had told you that how to create the ESS job, but that is without parameter. Now I'm going to tell you that how to create the ESS job with parameter. For that, we have to go to our Oracle Fusion instance first. So I am on the catalog page of my Oracle Fusion instance. So this data model and this report we had created for the first ESS job. Now we will use the same just for the parameter purpose. We'll edit the data model. So we have to add one parameter over here. So I am just editing the data model. So here is our query. I'm copying this query on one notepad. So we are having this query. So here we had hard coded our PO number. So I'm just removing it and I am writing the condition that is poh that is po headers dot type lookup code equals to bind variable of po header id so we'll pass this type lookup code as the bind variable maybe if you are aware of this type lookup code concept so there are different types of in type lookup codes so like standard then rfq then plan blanket and so on so there are different types of type lookups code so we will use that concept over here i'm just copying this query i will go to the data model page and i just paste this i'm removing this comment and i will click down ok so you can see over here it will ask me to generate one parameters i will check this checkbox and i will click on ok so my parameter is generated if you want to give any default value you can give it if you don't want then you can skip that i want to make this parameter as the mandatory parameter then at the end we are having label over here in label section i will write po underscore type because this is the PO type type lookup code is nothing but the PO type that's why PO type now I will save this report again okay so now we will test this report once from the catalog only so for that I am going to the catalog we don't have to make any change in the layout so I just want to open it so I will click on open as soon as I click on open so it will throw warning the warning is one or more mandatory parameter are empty okay because we had given the parameter as mandatory that's why it is showing the warning so i'm giving here standard and i will click on apply so it will take some time because there are a lot of standard views so till it get load we will go to create the ess job so i am going over here from here you have to go to the setup and maintenance then here is the book icon click on the book icon and then after here is a search click on this search button and here you have to search for the manage enterprise and job so click on the search icon so you have to select here the second one manage enterprise schedule job definition and job sets of financial supply chain management and related applications so click on this okay so now we can create the another ess job with parameter so i will click on this plus icon so first we have to give the display name so i will give the name over here that is ess underscore job underscore par parameter okay so i will write xx in front of the starting because this is our custom job i had copied the same into the name section also and we have to give the path so i already told you that how to get this path in last video so our path is test underscore nk slash nk underscore test okay then application so this is based on the purchasing application so i am selecting over here purchasing I am writing the display name into the description section also then after I have to give the job application name so I will select FSCM ESS as the job application name then here is the job type so for job type I am using BI job type then here is the default output format so you can select over here anything so I am just clicking on PDF okay then you have to give the report id so our report id so i had already copied that report id in last video i had already tell that how to get this report id then we are having the parameters so this is the section of the parameter so you have to click on this plus icon to add any type of a parameter so what type of an prompt you have to give so i will give the po underscore type as a prompt 
okay so what is the data type for this so it is the string so i am giving as a string then it is the mandatory in the report layout running layout so here also we have to make it as a required means mandatory okay then after if you want to give the tooltip then you can give it so i am giving the tooltip as some of the pure types like standard then comma rfq then comma planned comma blanket etc and i am clicking on save and close you must complete the required field okay so here we had missed here is a page element so in page element you have to choose the text box so other are choice list or list of value so list of value or choice list we had not chosen so that's why i am selecting the text box for list of value and value sets we will go for other video so i am just again clicking on save and close if you want to give any default value that also you can give over here so till till it gets saved we'll check the report output okay so this is our report output with the type lookup code standard this is generated there are a lot of records you can see over here a lot of records are there that's why it had taken the time okay so this is the report output the same output we will get by this esa job also so it is saved now again we have to click on save and close so when it gets saved you will get this message of confirmation that is your changes were saved now you have to click on done when you click on done it will redirect you to this page now i have to go to navigator then tools so here is in tools and then here is a schedule process for scheduling the process okay now we have to schedule our process so i am just clicking on schedule new process. so as soon as i clicked on it it will generate one prompt so here we have to search our job name so our job is xx ess so i had tab out so our job names came over here so that is xx ess job underscore pr i'm just clicking on ok so when you click on ok it will comes with one prompt so you can see over here pure type that i had given the name to the parameter and here is the star icon because it is the required it is mandatory so i am giving it as a standard so you can see over here tool tips also appeared that which type of an po you can select for that tool tip is there so i am writing here standard okay and uh, here just i am clicking on the submit button so here is my process id i'm just copying it and clicking on okay so if i clicked on this refresh button you can see that our process is scheduled that is xx ess underscore job underscore par so i'm just refreshing it it will also take some time to run because it is fetching all the purchase order which is having the po type as standard so you can see over here the status is completed i had refreshed again so now you can see the status it is at succeeded okay just i am clicking on the status so it will show us the status just click on ok and drag down so you can see over here the report is generated this is the log for the report you can download it and you can verify it and here is the output of the report if you click on this it will download the output okay so i had opened that particular output and you can see over here the details that is type lookup code is standard and lot of the po's are listed over here okay so this is all about the creating the ess job with parameter okay in next video we are going to see that how to create the ess job with parameter using the value set and using the lookups if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe my channel technical talks with naresh to get more videos on oracle sql plsql oracle application oaf and other technologies thank you